Heather Matthews is the Vice President of Healthcare Management at Crawford & Company in Kitchener, Ontario. She spoke with us about workers' compensation claims and what employers can do to manage their costs. How do employers generally view workers' compensation claims? Really how employers view workers' compensation claims really depends on the employer themselves, the type of injury uh, or type of uh, industry that they're in, number of employees that they have. We see a really wide range and wide spectrum. Uh, we've got some clients and we've seen some employers that are very sophisticated. They have a lot of processes in place, a lot of uh, data management. And then we see other employers who really are not aware of what's happening with their workers' compensation claims. Some don't even know where their paperwork is from the workers' compensation board. They don't know what types of claims they're having. They don't know how many people are off on claim. And unfortunately, there's not a lot of processes and, and controls in place. What can employers do to reduce the cost of these claims? Uh, for companies to get a better handle on their workers' compensation costs, I think there's a number of steps that need to be followed. And first of all, they need to really do a thorough analysis of their processes. So really look at the, the workflow and look at the processes that happen within a company. I think the next step they need to really do is to analyze their financial and their data. So they need to look at the cost statements that come from the workers' compensation board. They need to look to see whether they're in a rebate or a surcharge situation. They need to look at historical costs and just really get an overall perspective of the financial and the data as far as are there any trends in it. And I think the, the final piece really in controlling it is when a claim does occur. So a lot of really important steps happen then, the first being the accident investigation. So they need to make sure that the accident is well documented, they speak to any witnesses, they have their staff trained on even how to do an accident investigation. The next piece on controlling the claim when a claim does occur is that they really need to look at the documentation they prepare and they forward to the Provincial Workers' Compensation Board. They need to make sure that they're stating their case clearly. And then I think the final item, and probably the most critically important, is the remain at work or return to work. So if someone is going to be uh, off of work due to a workplace injury, there needs to be processes put in place to get that person back on transitional or modified duties as soon as possible. That's where the real cost driver is, is on the lost time days. So they need to make sure that they're getting those people back to work as soon as possible. And why is it important for an employer to have an effective cost management program in place for workers' compensation claims? I think without an effective uh, claims management process, an employer is really losing an opportunity. They're really losing the opportunity to control the cost, but also control some ancillary costs such as uh, training for additional staff, replacement workers, lost productivity, uh, you know, damaged morale even. So it's really a lost opportunity. I think the, there's two other factors that are really at play here. And, and they're fairly new, and, and it's really two demographic factors. One being the aging workforce. And now that there is not mandatory retirement, we're finding workers are staying in the workplace much longer. They're still doing that heavy job they did 30 years ago, but that body is much older. And when that body is injured, it's not recovering as quickly as it did 30 years ago. The other demographic factor that's really impacting costs is unfortunately obesity. There are more and more Canadians becoming obese and once again an obese body has complications and doesn't recover the same as someone who is healthy and fit. Ideally an employee really needs to and wants to have an integrated program. So regardless of why someone is off of work, whether it's casual absenteeism, short-term short -term or long-term disability, or workers' compensation, they need to have the same processes and procedure to deal with that absenteeism, to deal with the costs, and to get that person back to work.